The final update of Chapter 2 is here, and the island is destabilizing fast. What's going on, champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here, and I'm going to be your tour guide to the final update of this chapter. So I'll be going over things such as the Salvage Brute War effort, the shopping carts returning to the island, you being able to earn XP by playing Save the World, and much, much more. So without further ado, let's just hop into it by talking about the Salvage Brute. And what better way to start than to show you their actual trailer, so let's go ahead and show that on screen right now. As you guys have seen throughout the season, the Cube Queen has deployed countless warriors and corruption is spreading fast throughout the island. So in order to fight back, the war effort is going against the cubes to produce some big guns of their own. So here we have the Salvage Brute. Battling the sideways has never left the war effort short on supplies, meaning that the Salvage Brute has been stripped down from its original form to have less of an armor hull and no overshield. Basically, once you shoot out the shield on the actual gunner, that's not going to reach charge so definitely this is a nerf version of the brute but it is interesting to see it make its return so it makes it easier for clever opponents to counter and dismantle this brute however it comes battle ready with combat effectiveness tailored for taking down wave after wave of cube monsters now of course the salvage brute stations need bars in order to get off the ground and they're gonna need lots of bars stations have been deployed across the island where you can place funds and once one of these stations are fully funded that salvage brute spawns spawn location will be there in that actual p point of interest for the remainder of the season for loopers to use in their matches. So help boot up the Salvage Brute and beat back the Cube Queen's endless army. Now keep in mind that there is also another very interesting change about the Brutes this season, and that is that they've completely nerfed how you can actually do emotes. Before you could do literally any emote you wanted in the game, however due to art concerns or gameplay concerns. A lot of emotes have been disabled like simply put like if, if it, it will probably be easier to make a list of the emotes that haven't been disabled than it would be to make a list of emotes that have been disabled so don't go in riding around a brute expecting to you know have a giant rainbow by using like the take a bow emote or anything like that because the goofy aspect of every emote working and being overly sized is no longer a thing but luckily you don't have to worry about funding every single vehicle that returns to the island because the shopping carts have also returned to the island. They have a 35% spawn rate, and they most likely spawn around Retail Row and Holly Hedges. So if you want to hop in one of these with one of your friends, enjoy them, and just goof around with the brand new shopping cart, make sure to drop either Retail Row or Holly Hedges in order to have a nice likelihood of finding one. And something very interesting here is because of the shopping cart being enabled, we have a little bit of a bug going around on the island where the ATK, the all-terrain cart, also known as the golf cart, has also been enabled now I don't know how this is happening because it wasn't announced in their blog post and also the maximum spawn percentage is set to 0% so maybe Epic Games messed up something along the lines but there is a very very small chance that during your matches you might find the all-terrain cart which has been modified recently for the new chapter but you know they just never released it so enjoy it while it's there and maybe Epic Games will fix it or maybe they'll just leave it there for the rest of this chapter however bugs aside it's time to talk about the final topic of today's video which is XP in creative mode and save the world so if you're unaware Epic Games has actually nerfed how much XP you earn in creative mode from AFKing in the you know the hub area but what they have done is made it so now you can earn XP by playing creative maps this is something that's just pretty cool you know um, you can play like a death run or something earn XP for finding like secret rooms for progressing through the death run making it to different stages of the death run that type of thing and you'll be able to figure out which creative Creative maps actually have XP accolade devices in them by looking in the discovery menu and if you see a little XP icon whenever you're hovered over a actual creative map that means you can earn XP by doing something in that mode but save the world man I never expected the day to come where we'd have some major news for save the world and while it isn't like some brand new quest line a whole slew of new cosmetics whatever it might be for save the world what we do have is the ability for commanders to now earn battle pass experience by playing save the world 
world. So simply put, by completing missions and save the world, you'll be rewarded with accolades that will grant you varying amounts of XP based on the badges and other stuff you earn during the mission. And a majority of the XP will come from badges earned from like successfully completing a mission, for making it to wave 30 in an endurance, that type of thing. Whereas the longer you play and the more you do, like if, for example, Frost Knight, you can earn up to 80,000 XP by making it to the final stage. You just earn a lot of XP by just grinding out these modes and it actually makes it a little bit better for us who want to, you know, enjoy Save the World a little bit more, but also want to, you know, make sure we're progressing in the battle pass for Battle Royale. It's super interesting to see and I've linked a pay spin down below if you want to get the exact actual XP amounts. Something to mention about this actual pay spin is that it's only the IDs and not the actual accolade name. I'm pretty sure there's probably better sources out there that have the names with them, but I just made, you know, a little short, easy to look at solution for those who don't want to go out of their way to try finding one of those. So I want to know in the comments down below, what do you think about Save the World and creative maps made by the community now getting us XP for the normal Battle Royale Battle Pass? In my opinion, it's very interesting because this opens the door for so many possibilities in the future. I mean, just think about it. No matter what you play in Fortnite, you're still progressing in Fortnite. And I just think that's a really cool aspect that I hope Epic Games continues to improve on and potentially even make more game modes and fun little adventures for us to go on. But with that said, my name is Fire Monkey. If you enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing to support the content I create, and I will catch you guys tomorrow with even more goodies and information.